Hey everybody, welcome to another Minecraft story mode video. Today we're doing episode 2, part 2, and last episode we stopped it off right when it started snowing for some reason and we're not in a snow biome, so everyone's like confused. So I guess let's see what happens with that. The one and only. I had so much fun during our last little battle. Super epic. Just couldn't stay away. Wait, you're the admin? Well, that giant... Prismarine Colossus. <laughs> just a construct. Rolled it up for the occasion. Pretty fun, right? I just thought it'd be a little easier to talk like this. I was kind of cuddly, right? Fighting a giant statue in the middle of town? Oh, okay, yeah, that was kind of cool. Ah, uh, see? I knew you'd know what I was talking about. See, you four went into my temple, back out alive. Heroes! You're perfect for my creations. Perfect! Where are you going with this? Got a new challenge for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Not again. You hear that? That's a diamond-class wave of doom and destruction headed right for town. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Been working on that one. I know you have your plans or whatever, but leave my people out of it. They're innocent. <laughs> innocent? Or incentive? I don't know. Seems like they've got you pretty motivated. Ahem. <clears throat> Your town will be trapped in eternal snowy night, forever plagued by deadly waves of mobs, until you recapture that club. Which is where? I'm glad you asked. It's at the tippy top of my awesome, fantastic, super deadly, icy palace of despair. It's simple. Just follow the path. You can't miss it. Well, that sounds needlessly dangerous. Fine, we accept your challenge. I'm gonna get that clock, and then you're next. Ooh, that one gave me the shivers. You are legit, Jesse. Very excited. Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Why? Why? Well, because it's fun, obviously. I mean, this is gonna be epic. What? Oh, come on. Time to show this goon what the Skitaro Crag Jumpers do to town destroyers. You think you've got it all figured out, don't you? Ah, strays. Pesky little consequence of eternal night. And <laughs> Beacon Town's new neighbors until you take care of that clock. Remember? Find the clock, save the town. Bye-bye now. Ah, we need to protect the people! Run! Hide, everyone! Got a bad feeling more will be on the way soon. Guys? Jesse, I am so sorry. I, I was standing guard watching it so close, but it just disappeared. I know. Now the situation is just gonna get worse until we get it back. Yeah, from his icy palace of despair, or whatever. Wherever you're going, I'm coming too. I was given the title and the power of Clockmaster. If it's to keep Beacon Town safe, I'll do anything. Really? 
Just do me a favor and try to stay out of danger, okay? Okay. I'll try not to be... a burden. All right, everyone, we've got a clock to find. Can't let you come along on this one, old friend. Hmm. Mm. I promise, I will come back. Hmm. <laughs> Just protect the town while we're gone, all right? <laughs> Is that thing gone? Yeah, for now. I mean, block this up after we leave, would you? On it. Yes, we will defend Beacon Town with our very lives. Thanks, guys. Bye, Nerm. Hmm. We're all counting on you. I wish I knew more about whatever their quest is. mean to sound suspicious, but do we really think the admin is going to keep his word about this clock? Yeah, I don't exactly get a trustworthy vibe off of him. I don't know. I mean, I thought he seemed sincere. Why set all this up if he wasn't going to really let us fix things? Yeah, well, color me skeptical. Jesse, uh, can we, um, talk? I'll just walk a little more over here. Oh, uh, right. Uh, uh, me, me, me too. About that trip with Jack. I promise it's not like it seems. It's just a little trip. A little time away from Beacon Town. To... I don't know... find myself? I just don't get it. Did I do something to make you angry? No! No! It's not about you. It's just something... something I need to do. I... I really am sorry that it happened this way. I, I was just so excited to be hanging out with real, hardcore adventurers again. Especially because I was worried that you... that you didn't need me anymore. Of course I need you. That's ridiculous. Ugh. See, this is why it would have been so much easier if you hadn't found out like this. It's just... Everything's so different from when we first became friends. Everything's... changed. Lucas, Axel, Olivia, they all changed too. They found what made them happy. Their thing. But me? I still haven't found mine. Do you know how hard that is? How, how that feels? I mean, if I'm honest, it does seem like adventure is your calling. You know, the open road. Right? That's kind of what I thought too. On that llama? Huh. Think she ran away again? Uh, excuse me. Speaking for the group, you guys know a llama? Where'd she come from? This is Luna. She's kind of cute, right? We returned her to her owner, Stella. She is cute, isn't she? Everyone get away from my llama. No. Jesse? My rival. Should have known I would find you here. Yeah, I'm... Still really not your rival. Really. So you say. And yet here we still meet. Okay. What is going on here? Lucas, this is Stella. The leader of Champion City. This is Jack, Voss, and Radar. Jacques, was it? As in, the legendary champion? So, what exactly are you doing here, Stella? 
My beautiful city is currently covered in a hideous coat of snow. That's what. I came out to investigate, and surprise, surprise, it's you. If you're smart, you'll undo whatever it is you did and put things right again. Just... wow. Can't believe you're all alone. Thought you had people to do things like this for you. Huh. That's what you think. But when Champion City is threatened, I am not going to refuse the call. I believe we have it well covered, miss. We're on our way to find a mighty adversary and set things right. All right. Let's say I believe you. I suppose I'll just have to find a way to fix it. It's my world too, after all. You'll see, I'll fix it all on my own. I don't need any of you losers. Whoa, the... The moon is stuck. Okay, that's freaky. So, Stella, you were saying? I was saying that maybe I'll stick around for a bit, just to keep an eye on you. You know, I've been thinking about it, and I totally agree that adventure is probably the closest I've got to a thing. Did this adventure really have to include Stella? <laughs> uh, you okay, Radar? Yes, yes, totally fine. Guys, shh. We need to keep an eye. Whoa. I'm actually kind of speechless right now. Man, and it's all ice? I'm right there with you, Jack. That is incredible. It's like I was telling you, Radar. Never a dull moment. Hey, found the clock. Oh, perfect. But how are we going to get up there? Well, the admin mentioned challenges. I'm guessing there's going to be like obstacles or something when we get... <laughs> Wait, do I have this right? Are you telling me that this admin is so powerful, he built all of this instantly? You sound almost jealous. Almost? Of course I'm jealous of power like that. Power is how the world is run, little man. It's what people respect, what they listen to. Stella, I know you haven't met him yet, but I promise you, the admin is nuts. <sighs> yeah, you really don't want any part of that. Trust me. Ah, lesser minds often do mistake true genius for madness. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I can't wait for you to meet him. Stella, you'll never change. Oh, I thought I recognized you. You're the quitter who used to work on my inventory management team. Wait, wait, do, do you two know each other? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I used to live in Champion City. What? I don't know what he told you to get on this little team, but I don't think he even knows how to use a sword. No, oh, you don't know anything, Stella, so zip it. Ooh, how do you put up with that little voice of his, Jesse? I know I never could. Not everyone needs to know how to swing a sword, Stella. Radar has a lot of his own skills. Yeah! Thanks, Jesse. I can't wait to see him. I'll call you if the admin needs to file anything. Come along, Luna. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. I'm not the person she thinks I am anymore. I've changed. And I can prove it. I can be different. Braver. If that's what the situation requires, I'll do it. As far as I'm concerned, Radar, you don't need to change. You can just be... you. See? And that's what makes you one million times the leader she'll ever be. Would you look at that? Haven't seen anything that grand since the last time I visited the overcompensating builders of Igesh. No kidding! Oh boy, my favorite. Mystery levers.
what's going on. Aha! Hello, everyone! <laughs> please, please gather round. Don't be shy. Here we go again. Oh, look how many of you there are. Lovely. Your choice of company, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this place is really for the best of the best. Not, uh, how do I say this, losers? Mr. Admin, mighty sir, I'm Stella, founder of Champion City. Maybe you've heard of me? No, never. It's actually perfect, Champion. I can see you all have dreams of greatness. It's very cute. This construct before you, it's meant to see who's worthy of that greatness. Separate the strong from the weak. So, we'll see how your little companions do, eh? Hey? Well, don't even worry about it, because my friends here aren't weak. Mm-hmm. Cool. If you say so. Oh, come now, don't be that way. This, this is all for you. New creatures of my own design, as well as mining fatigue at every turn. Wouldn't want you cheating, of course. I don't like rule breakers. It's simple. You all want to get to that clock, but only the best of the best get to partner up with me in the future. But that could be you. Cook this place up just for you. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, I was going to say pretty cool, but with a whole ice motif, that just seems like I was going for a lame pun, so... Anyway. I'm here to save my town. Well, of course you are, because you're a hero! <laughs> it's awesome! Oh, 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 I am just ecstatic that you see things my way. Thrilled! <laughs> so, how about we get this show on the road? Landing. Ah, uh, it's nothing. It's just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, that's it then. The way is shut. Yes. Now I suppose the only way out is through. Yeah, and smashing that clock. Well, we're not all going to be smashing the clock. Say what now? You heard the admin. He only wants the best of the best. And that's going to be me. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Sorry, handsome. Might as well quit now. Hey, but what about your people? Champion City. You're totally selling them out. Boy, do you think, Small. If I'm working with the admin, I'll be able to help Champion City even more. I hope. Wow. It's... it's amazing. Hmm. You're his little buddy, Jesse. You know anything about this partnership he's offering? Imagine everything you could create, everything you could do, with a prize like that. Okay, hang on a sec. I am not the admin's little buddy. <laughs> I'm just saying. You two were looking pretty chummy up there. Come on, Luna. Enough of these losers. We've got treasure to find. Hey. Treasure sniffing llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell your friends. <clears throat> hey now. Oh, that poor llama. Hey, don't treat Luna like that. She obviously hates it. I think I know my darling Luna a little better than you do. Let's go, Luna. Well, that is certainly a woman who knows what she wants. Are you kidding? She's nuts. Ah, well, no one knows better than me that the admin's traps and constructions mean business. You've got a point there, old friend. I don't want to see anyone else get hurt. Yes. And it's like the admin said. Not everyone here might be... Uh, up for the task. I mean no offense by it, just uh, 
start stating facts. Then I guess we're just gonna have to prove how wrong the admin is. Ah, <sighs> fine. But if something happens to them, that's on you, not me. Come with me, Jack. Uh, let's try and scope this place out. I'm... I'm gonna go talk to them. Well, I have never been so offended. Not in my whole life. Yeah, that wasn't the coolest. W wasn't the coolest? Oh, no. Misfiling your acacia wood during material organization week isn't the coolest. That was... That was a stripe too far. But just because I'm not some sword-swinging meathead, they think they can just walk Radar! away from me. Radar! Ah, sorry. I had to get that off my chest. I need you to remember that out there, the world is stuck in eternal night. And there are a lot of scared people back in Beacon Town who are counting on us. You're right. Uh, we were talking and decided that it would be best for everyone if Radar stays here with Lucas while we go get the clock. Uh, that's it, Luna, Radar. darling. <laughs> She's got the clock sent! <laughs> Later, losers! We're wasting time! Wait! The admin built this whole place to eliminate people, right? Trick them? Sure, it looks like Luna found something, but that's... Just what the admin wants us to think. You saw the llama! Jesse, you're coming, right? We could really use a hand over here. I think in this instance, I'm going to take Radar. He seems smart. Uh, I'm not going to go with a bunch of idiots. I just follow whatever they think is right. I got to go with them. Be safe, okay? If you're sure. These guys are just jumping into any minecart thinking, the smart you know. Choice? I mean, Radar is particularly annoying, but in this instance, I think... He's the one that's mostly thinking about danger. I mean, in a sense, that's why the feeling of danger exists, is to warn you and kind of guide you towards not dying. So... Everyone seems scared, or everyone's not scared about Radar, and I think he'll be the best at helping us not die. Okay? Definitely. What a rush. I'm alright. I'm okay. I am so sorry. I'm okay. Really. Just getting my venture legs. I'll be better in a minute. Oh, Radar, pull it together. Feeling okay. I gotta say, if you're having a hard time with the minecarts, you might not like what comes next. Hello there, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood admin. <laughs> Pretty proud of this challenge, not gonna lie. I was feeling very inspired by the concept of karma. But I'd tell you why, but well, that'd spoil the surprise. I'm sure you understand, right? Real heroes live for surprises. Unexpected dangers. Oh, that's all right. Tell me. I'm cool with spoilers. I just told you I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Just play along here. Let's just say I hope you're feeling good about your archery skills, hmm? Between you and me, though, champion, I'm less worried about your archery than I am about your choice of companions. Let's see if I can't shuffle the board a bit, hmm? Give you another pair of hands to help out? 
Where? How? He's no Jesse. But he's better than that other guy, right? Oh, 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 dear. All you need to do is activate the shooting gallery, hit all the targets, and the door will open. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay, but what are those pumpkin heads for? Don't worry, Jesse. We'll figure it out. shooting targets with. Now I just need a bow. Now I think you need to give him a little more credit. Hey, what you talking about? We were talking about how sometimes you need to just ignore people that are being difficult. Now, Jesse... <laughs> Jesse knows all about that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Jesse's had to go on adventures with all sorts of people. Yeah, Lucas has got it right. You can't get rid of difficult people, so sometimes you just need to live with them. Yeah, I guess I can try. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. Well, I suppose we should get back to figuring this room out, huh? We'll get it. Yeah! A button? Maybe it turns this whole thing on. A button? Maybe it turns this whole thing on. That this will come in handy. Always good to have string around. Are you okay? Oh, Jesse! It was the most startling thing. One minute there, the next minute, poof. Well, welcome to the party, I guess. Huh. Yeah. I, I know that I haven't been at my best in the time that we've known each other, but I promise, I do know what I'm doing. Don't worry, Voss, I believe you. Everyone's allowed to get a little rusty. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you. Now come on. Let's solve whatever devious challenge the admin has set before us. This could be our way out of here. Check. Bow? Not yet. Time to meet your maker! some targets, huh? <laughs> he really reminds me of us. You know, back in the day, eager to make his mark. Always ready for whatever's around the next corner. I still worry about him. He's got a lot to learn. <laughs> so did we. Man, sometimes I still can't believe how far we've come. Come on. How do you turn this stupid thing on? <laughs> Looks like he needs our help. Thing moving. 
All right, Button, you're mine. This is so cool! All right, Lucas, show the admin who he's messing with. Radar? Huh, this is gonna be easy. Jesse, you're good. I'm definitely gonna steal some of those moves. Here comes round three. Fine shot. Almost feels like I made this challenge too easy for you. Oh wait, no, I'm totally messing with you. Time for level two. <laughs> And that's where we're going to stop today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment and support the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and...